this week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch is proudly powered by PureVPN. The best way to protect your privacy online is with PureVPN. You can hide your online activities, say goodbye to regional restrictions, and improve your streaming quality. Plus, it's available for almost all of your devices. You can get a special price and a 31-day money-back guarantee right now by going to pilchpoint.live slash purevpn. All right, Avram, we've got a really interesting and, and uh, unique <laughs> show and tell going on this week. Yeah, all right, so right. this week I'm going to talk about something that is really important uh, if you ever plan to sell or give away your PC. And I've been doing some work with a charity uh, called Including You. Uh, by the way, I strongly recommend folks uh, go to includingyou.org and check out their website. Uh, and think about donating some uh, used PCs that you have, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, but meanwhile, uh, if you are planning to sell or give away your PC, one thing you want to do is you want to securely erase it. So I'm going to show you something because I've got another computer next to me that I can securely, that I can show uh, what does and does not work. So I'm going to switch to... Uh, something else here. Okay, so this is a Windows 10 computer, not the one that I'm currently on, or else uh, we'd have some problems. And the and you're going to see on it that this is the documents folder, and I have some documents there. I even have one. They look a little blurry. Called my passwords.txt. No worry, these aren't my actual. This isn't an actual password, but I want to demonstrate the gravity of the situation. All right, so one thing a lot of people would think to do, and I would have thought to do up until recently, is just to reset the computer, right? So if you go to, you know, the standard thing to do if you want to give Windows to someone else is you go to reset this PC, and then you go and you hit get started, and you hit remove everything, right? Now, this says that it removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So... Uh, so what should I see? I should see that this uh, data recovery app here that I have on the desktop shouldn't be there. Uh, the uh, All my personal files shouldn't be there. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit remove everything. Uh, you're going to see it's going to, I'm going to tell it to do a local reinstall. Let's see if that works. Uh, I may need, this doesn't, okay. It's going to do a reset and we are going to now we can um, get back to oops we can get back to I'm just going to leave that be for a while uh, and see if if it is ready by the time we're ready to do the rest of the rest of pilch point so hopefully it will be finished by that point uh, if you want to do two segments before we do Pilch Point tonight, that might be a good idea. Um, I'm fine anyway. with that. I'm fine with that. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we while we're talking, this computer is preparing to reset itself, which could take it 15, 20 minutes or so. I don't know. Uh, and let's see. Let's see if those files that we showed are still there after I reset. Yes. So, okay. So what we, we had started talking about earlier in, in the overall show uh, is wiping your computer, wiping your drive, whether you're selling the drive itself or the computer itself. Let's talk about it as if it's the whole computer, though, because uh, that poses some different challenges in that let's assume that your computer's, your computer's boot drive that you're trying to wipe. So earlier in the show, what we did is we took a Windows 10 installation, which I'm going to show you right now, and we uh, performed a reset on it using Windows built-in reset with the option to remove all of your person's files. Uh, so let's let's see how that, oops, let's see how that turned out. I'm going to switch to, I'm going to switch to that computer. So this is another computer I have. This is the one that, um, this is the one. Now, I reset it, and you can see that the documents folder is empty. Uh, never mind that this uh, this data recovery software is there. I have installed it while you weren't looking. Uh, 
to show you something. So the documents folder is empty to all, for all intents and purposes. It looks like my secret, my important data is gone and I can give this computer away to someone without fear of them getting at my data. But let's go look at Ezus Data Recovery, which is a free piece of software, I should mind tell you. You can uh, get up to two gigabytes back with it for, for free. If you want bigger than two gigabyte files, then you got to pay. But uh, this can show you what's there. So uh, looking here, this shows a whole lot of stuff. Uh, and let's go. It really helps if you know what you're looking for, but not but not necessarily. So if I look at, uh, so for example, uh, lost files, uh, here, here were the lost files that were just deleted. Uh, if I go here, here was a user called the user I had created a clue, include you, but here, I just to just, I could comb through this for a while, but I'm just going to make this a little easier. I'm going to do a search. So I'm going to search. I had a file called my passwords, if you may recall, and I'm going to search and look at that. My passwords shows up. Look at that. My passwords uh -oh. txt is right there. Now I'm going to try to recover this file. The fact that I could even see the file name is bad news, right? But let's let's see here. Uh, now the thing that you want to do is recover it to another disk. You do not want to recover it to the disk that you are on. So I have a another USB drive in here, which is the Windows 11 install disk for other reasons. I'm going to recover it to this. All right, look at that. Now let's open it and see if I can read it. Look at that. And that is definitely what, what we do you saw see? earlier. That is the username and password that I had put into my passwords file. Look at that. Any Anyone with free software could now get your data off of it after you've done what looks like a decent reset. Well, this tells us something. We need to be a better method of resetting our computer. Uh, For sure. So there's two. So there's a couple of things uh, to, to talk about here about how you can delete. So one is that you uh is that a lot of people like to do something where they're overwriting the disk there's a very popular program called dban uh, that is a free bootable thing that will overwrite your disk several times this is not the best method for an ssd for a hard drive a mechanical hard drive by all means uh use dban uh, dban and install it and make a bootable disk out of it. Uh, and you can use uh, the Department of Defense uh, method of wiping. That's great. Uh, but with SSDs, there's some other challenges. Uh, one of the other challenges, although I don't think this is too serious of a challenge, is that your um, SSDs use something called over-provisioning. Every modern SSD has a little bit of the disk space that's held in reserve. So if you've got a one gigabyte, uh, I'm sorry, one terabyte drive, it's possible that, I don't know, 5%, 10% <laughs> uh, will be held in, you know, extra is available that the disk secretly switches back and forth from because we know that SSDs have a limited number of write cycles. So if your SSD can only, and that's usually measured in terabytes, TBW, terabytes written, right? So the, so you don't want to wear out too many of the blocks in, on the drive because otherwise you would not be able to write to it. And that, you know, realistically, it, it takes a really long time, many years of a lot of writing for that to happen. Like you'd have to be writing all day, every day, your whole drive, for like several years to wear it out. So for most people, this is not a serious concern. But nevertheless, the system has some reserve uh, storage that it puts in and out of circulation. Therefore, there's data on that uh, over-provision area that overwriting the disk will not touch. Now, the good news is neither will the data recovery software get to it 
and when you do eventually write that that um, over provisioned area eventually is used or cycled into sort of things come in and out of the over provisioned area i believe um it will be overwritten by the time you see it so it may or may not be that huge of a concern but there are other things you should be doing to to purge an ssd for one thing you don't need to overwrite it more than once so uh there uh there's a there's a couple of different things one uh and i will show you our article on this that you could do is the best way to delete it to delete an ssd is not always available and that is i'll show you right here oops I keep hitting the turn the turn screen off rather than the share screen button uh one is that you can um that you can use a built-in uh ssd erasure tool um if your motherboard has a secure erase utility in the BIOS, that would be fantastic. They don't all have it though. Uh, the computer I'm talking to you on has it in the ASUS BIOS. The computer I'm erasing does not have it in its gigabyte BIOS. So some have it and some do not. Uh, those are good because you don't need to boot into an operating system and it will reset the drive. Because SS, modern SSDs have a secure erase command that they can receive that will just automatically reset uh, all the blocks to their factory state. So, um, so that's really good. Now, some manufacturers also have their own utilities that will do this for you, uh, but you have to have that manufacturer's SSD and it has to be supported. So like Samsung SSD Magician has a great secure erase feature, that's good. Although some of these tools may or may not have a bootable disk version, so you might have to have your SSD attached as an external drive to another computer and then run this to erase. Um, so the easiest way, and this will work really well, but not, uh, but won't touch the over provision area, but will apparently wipe out the the map to it. So therefore, basically, a normal person using normal software should not be able to recover your data would be to use Windows 10 or 11's disk part feature. So uh, I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, cause that is, and that also will work for hard drives, although it will only do, I believe one pass. So the disk part feature, the disk part tool, uh, will allow you to, uh, run something called clean all, which will then, uh, do a really quick erasure. So if you were, if your drive was the, uh, was not the boot drive of the computer trying to erase, you could just go straight to a command prompt, run it as admin, and do the deletion from there. But it's somewhat of a challenge if you are, if this is your C drive, the you know boot drive that you're trying to erase. So what to do? Well, you should take a Windows install disk, as I have now put into this computer, and you should boot off of that. So we're going to restart this computer here and I'm going to make sure by hitting the F12 key when it comes up, hopefully fast enough, that I'm going to boot off of the uh, boot off of the install disk that I had created. Um, so you may or may not see as quickly as I do the BIOS come up, the message come up, and I'm hitting F12. Yay! I hit it fast enough. And now I'm going to choose to boot off of, I believe Mushkin Partition One is the right one, but if not. We'll have to do it different maybe two because this disk has been re uh done a bunch of times let's see let's see come on are we doing it yes okay so you can see now that we are in the windows install this would look the same whether you were using a windows 10 or 11 install disk They're pretty much the same i think the color might be different uh so what to do okay so you hit shift f10 and that will give you a command prompt right now, you this is an administrative command prompt, by the way, so you have the admin rights. Your you, first thing you do is you enter disk part. That loads disk part 
it's gonna it's going to take a second and then it's gonna spit you back another uh, another prompt. So just to be sure, the right thing to do is type lists disk and it's gonna show you all of your disks. Uh, notice that I have two disks on here. One of them is the C drive and one of them is the install USB. Uh, so I wanna make sure I'm deleting the right one. So that would be disk zero. It's almost always disk zero if it's, so I'm gonna say select disk zero and now, very simply, to now that it's selected, I'm going to type clean all and hit enter. All right, I've hit clean all. Now, this could take a few minutes, uh, and we don't need to sit here and watch it, uh, but that is the process. Uh, when this is done, nothing will remain on this disk it is theoretically possible that in the over-provisioned area of the SSD, there might be data from some earlier time that someone with like a professional data recovery service could get to. Uh, but a person using over-the-counter uh, software, regular software, should not be able to get, uh, should not be able to access uh, any data that you that you've that you've left on there. It should all be gone. Um, the uh, I actually got advice to use this utility from a company called Drive Savers, that is a professional data recovery service. That you can send them your drive and pay them a lot of money to try to get data off of it. And they say that while they have not validated the disk part clean all on all hardware, that it should do the trick to quote them, uh, and uh, that uh, that. That they like that they like it uh i mean they think it's pretty effective so um so that's uh that's my trick now there's another uh tool that i'm in the process of testing called parted magic that costs 15 dollars that supposedly will also uh get to the over provision area uh, no matter what disk you have and i tried it just before we went on air and it would not work with my disk so Nothing is perfect, <laughs> but this is pretty darn close. That, that's pretty funny, actually. But it's supposed to work with everything, I mean, ex except the one that you're testing with. And that's, uh, I mean, that's always the way it works, though, right? Like, that's the. I, I, I'm not sure. I, there's probably something I'm doing wrong, but it basically, it's it allows you to choose the disk in, in this draw in this PC that I'm wiping is an NVMe disk. Mm -hmm. And it had me choose and be, it's like, what kind of disc do you want to wipe? So I said NVMe and then it, it, it's, uh, it said, you don't have an NVMe disc installed, so I can't do this. But I don't know what to say about that because I do have an NVMe <laughs> disc installed. So like, um, so that's, uh, so I'm trying to figure out, I went into the BIOS of the computer to see if there's something I have to change. Funny, the BIOS computer also says I don't have an NVMe disk installed, but I'm sure that I do. So, like, I don't know. There's something a little weird going on. Um, but the uh, but anyway, uh, that is another possible tool that we could have. But I think using the free Windows method that I showed will work uh, is probably the right solution for for most people. But nice. simply resetting or simply deleting files or even simply reformatting a drive mm -hmm. will not uh, necessarily make your disk safe to give away. And uh, that's something that everybody should keep in mind. We have an article about this on the homepage right now at TomsHardware.com. Very nice. And I can I can vouch for the, the recovery software that you just showed. Um, I have used it on disks that have gone bad, um, like where the disk has actually started to fail uh, and the the master boot record has been toasted or the um, the what the partition table has been toasted I've been able to go back in and recover an entire hard drive uh, using that tool which was pretty impressive obviously you can't do a two gig free version I had to pay for it but I did recover entire drives um, and I also did um, I had an SD card during CES um, die on me. Um, 
and I, I suspect that something caused the partition table to, to fail on it, and we had interviews on it, and I used it, and I absolutely recovered uh, all the videos um, that we had, all the interviews we had done that day on that card. So it's a really great tool. Right. Uh, but I mean, so that, I guess that's the side story is mm -hmm. ease us, uh, data recovery is pretty good. Yeah. But, uh, it's a really cool tool for what it's for tool. and it's terrifying for what it's not for. Right. Right. I mean, so <laughs> I was looking at it from the other perspective, which yeah. is, well, I mean, I want it to work well because I want to see if it finds something. By the way, Drive Saver is a very interesting company. Offer, if you uh, run a business and you're wiping a lot of drives and you're really curious about how well they've been wiped, you uh -huh. can um, pay them for to do an erase verification or something where they oh. will take a drive and make sure that it's real, they can't get anything off of it because they have tools and methods and whatever that mm -hmm. are proprietary that they use that are supposed to be better than uh, commercial software has. Sure. And, you know, if you're worried about like the NSA or something getting your data, then uh, then at least make sure that you're at least make sure that you're able to do a secure that you're uh, that it's possible that they'll be able to get it to the over partition area, over provision area or something, mm -hmm. although you may not have any interest in data there anyway. But the the thing is, you know, this method, the clean all method I'm showing you, you should also use it on flash drives, uh, mm -hmm. on USB flash drives or micro SD cards or whatever. So if you're giving a USB flash drive to somebody, um, just formatting it may not be enough. They may be able to get the data off a of flash drive. So, you know, the, the principle of security is don't trust people. So just because you say, oh, yeah, you know, my friend, I gave them a USB flash drive because they needed one because I've got drawers full of them, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, wipe it first, right? You yep. never know whose hands it'll end up in, and all they need to do is be really curious and run a data recovery, and they may be able to find something interesting on there. Of course, you shouldn't keep your passwords in the text file either, <laughs> but that, that goes without saying. I just did that to, to show... Uh, that your sensitive data can be easily recovered. Yeah, and and easily recovered, I think, is the important part. Because, again, that tool works really well, even for complex data, which was why I mentioned it. It's able to very yeah. accurately and very efficiently recover complex data, like video that can be spread across a drive in a weird way. A text document, no problem. <laughs> It's going to pull up text documents yep. all day long. And, you know, if I do a scan on a drive and I'm trying to be malicious, what's the first thing I'm going to type into that search box in the top? Password. <laughs> yep. So, so yes, and you, you can search, right? Because it may not necessarily be easy to find. You, like, you can search and see if there's something interesting in there. So, yep. uh, you know, there's a lot of people who are probably going to flea markets or things like that, wherever oh, they buy point. old PCs, they may find something interesting on there. Yeah, good point. I've, Don't let it be your drive. I Just off camera over here, I have, and I've mentioned it before, but it happens to be out right now. I have a bag full of, of old laptops. Uh, the, the, the one that used to power the Skype connection for you many years ago. <laughs> all, all sitting... Uh, down here, and yeah, I mean, there's almost certainly, well, one of these for sure has scary stuff on it, um, but <laughs> there's almost certainly uh, personal and or private stuff on all of those, or maybe even corporate confidential stuff on any of those, so yeah, you'd have to, you don't want anything out of your sight without knowing that it's safe, so. Yeah, now, of course, the alternate view that a lot of people take is to physically destroy yep. the, the drives, uh, but that's a shame because, mm -hmm. you know, there's charities like including you that really could use donated PCs. And, you know, if you could delete stuff such that you feel confident giving it away, uh, then you should. Right. For sure. And and it looks like it looks like that process is is super easy. I'm so glad that that it's, you know, full featured like that on on 10 and 11. So. Yep. 
yeah, I mean, I uh, what you won't see because it's still going is I've I've done this and I've gone back with the recovery software and couldn't find those files. Anymore. Gotcha. So, um, so that's 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 the reveal. That's the big. That's the important part. Yeah, that that is the important part. Well, as always, Avram, appreciate you bringing this to us. This one has a special place in my heart again because there's literally a stack of laptops over here to my side. And if those were, and then I've got, you know, desktops and stuff everywhere. Uh, so if those were to get out of my control, it could be a problem. You definitely want to be able to, to secure wipe them. So definitely appreciate that. And as always, I look forward to what we talk about next. Hello YouTube, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Pilch Point with Avram Pilch. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our channel, and of course hit the notification bell, since subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, and if you've got topics you'd like us to discuss in the future, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, if you don't want to follow us on YouTube, that's okay. There's a lot of other ways that you can follow our content. You can find all of that by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all the different ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.